Recurring Invoices If you find yourself repeatedly generating invoices for customers, such as monthly subscriptions, you can save time and effort by setting up a recurring invoice. In this video, we look at how to create recurring invoices and how they're processed. You can create a recurring invoice from an existing invoice or a new invoice. Let's first look at creating a recurring invoice for an existing invoice. From the Invoices and Credits module, select the required invoice and click Edit. We can see this invoice is for monthly maintenance fees of £50 plus VAT. To create a recurrence for this invoice, click Memorize. Enter a unique reference for the invoice. You have up to 11 alphanumeric characters. Enter any further information required in the description field. Up to 60 alphanumeric characters. Let's now complete the frequency section. In the Every boxes, enter how often you want the invoice to recur. For example, every four weeks or every one month. Enter a start date for the recurring invoice. If the recurrence is ongoing, leave the total required box set to zero. The finish date will show perpetual. If the recurrence has an end date, in the total required box, enter the total number of postings. To update the finish date to the date of the final posting, press the Tab key. Once you're happy, click Save. To close the invoice record, click Close. Let's now look at how to process recurring invoices. From the Invoices and Credits module, click Recurring Items. All recurring invoices are shown. To view a recurring invoice, select it from the list, then click Edit. Changes can be made to the invoice if required. Once you're happy with the changes, click Save. To view the frequency of a recurrence, select it from the list, then click Frequency. Changes can also be made here if required. For example, to suspend a recurring invoice, select this checkbox. Once you're happy with the changes, click Save. To delete a recurrence no longer required, select it from the list, then click Delete. To export the list of recurring invoices, click the Print or Send to Excel buttons. To view all recurring invoices due to be created, click Process. Invoices dated up to and including the current program date are shown. To view all recurring invoices due up to and including a different date, change the date accordingly. To exclude an invoice from being created, deselect the Include checkbox. To create all recurring invoices included, click Process. If any invoices were excluded from the process, this message appears. To process these invoices at a later date, click No. The invoices have now been created. To close the confirmation message, click OK. To close the recurring items window, click Close. The new invoices appear in the invoice list and are now available to print, email and update to the customer account. Recurring Entry Reminders When opening Sage50 accounts, you may be prompted when recurring entries are due. To ignore the reminder and access your company data as normal, click No. To view the recurring entries due, click Yes. Any bank recurring entries will show in the top of the window. Invoice recurring entries show at the bottom. 
to check a recurring invoice before processing, select it, then click Frequency or Edit Invoice. To process the recurring invoices, click Process. To exclude an invoice from being created, deselect the Include checkbox. To create all recurring invoices, click Process. To close the confirmation message, click OK. To close the recurring items window, click Close. The new invoices appear in the invoice list and are now available to print, email and update to the customer account. The recurring entries reminder is controlled from settings and company preferences. If prompted, enter your user password. Now click Parameters. If the checkbox for no recurring entries at startup is clear, when logging into Sage50 accounts, you'll be reminded when recurring entries are due. To stop the reminder message, select the checkbox, then click OK. You've now learned how to create and process recurring invoices.